and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this TA Tech Tip, we will be demonstrating how to set up a frequency sweep test using the SQS test parameter software for the RPA Flex and Elite instruments. Frequency tests can be used to measure the viscoelastic properties of a material as a function of time. A sinusoidal deformation is applied to the sample at a constant temperature and amplitude of deformation. The frequency with which the oscillation is applied is varied during the test. This test can be used to determine long and short-term behavior of materials, as well as information such as the average molecular weight and molecular weight distribution. Open the test parameter software and log in with your username and password. All rubber test plans are organized by compound names, and all of the testing information is saved to a database. Each compound can have one test plan per instrument. You will want to first create the new compound by selecting Compound from the Data drop-down menu or selecting the New Compound icon. In the pop-up menu, select New and enter the name of the compound and any additional information desired. Select OK when finished and return to the home screen of the test parameter software. In order to create a new test plan, select New from the File drop-down menu or select the New Document icon. In the pop-up menu, select SIS V50 for creating any RPA test plan. You will then need to select the desired compound and select OK. In the test plan setup window, enter the desired closing pressure. Next, the desired test method will need to be created. Choose Frequency from the drop-down menu under Method, and all required fields will highlight in red. Double-click to the left of the entry on the step number to open the Frequency Program window. The Frequency Program window is used to generate the deformation profile for the Frequency Sweep step. Enter the desired frequencies into the table by clicking on the box and typing in the numbers. The Frequency table can be easily navigated by using the arrow keys. Type in the desired amplitude in the Amplitude Entry field. Each frequency program can be saved for future use by clicking on Save As, while saved frequency programs can be easily accessed by choosing Load Program. Once completely finished, click on OK. This test method can be combined with other steps such as amplitude sweeps and isothermal cures, which can be used to characterize the sample further. Once all parameters have been entered, click on OK, and the test plan will be saved upon exiting. In this TA Tech Tip, we have demonstrated how to set up a frequency sweep test using the SQS test parameter software for the RPA Flex and Elite instruments. For more information on our rubber instruments, please visit our website or contact your local technical representative. Stay tuned for more TA Tech Tips and thank you for your interest.